In this video, I'm showing you how to use OctoPrint and smart switches like this one to turn on your printer when the print starts and automatically turn off when it's done and we're starting right now. Hello, my name is Daniel. Welcome to the Crosslink channel. Our mission is to help 1 million people getting more successful with 3D printing. And if you're here for the first time, subscribe and enable the bell notifications so you don't miss anything. Last time I was showing you how you can install the Tesmoda firmware on Sonoff switches like this one and I've linked that video up here just in case you missed it. Make sure you watch the video until the end because there is a little nice bonus feature I will show you after we've done and tested the setup. What I want to achieve in the end is that I can turn the printer on and off from the Octoprint web interface, then start a print and Octoprint should turn off this printer automatically when the print is over. But you might ask why all this effort to switch a device on and off when you just can do it yourself. Well the reality is, and I think it's the same for you, sometimes I start a print at any given time and then I just forget to turn the printer off once it's done or in the middle of the night. So why let it run the whole night and waste power and be a potential fire hazard? Just to give you a little more reason to fix that, I'm just measuring the power consumption of this Ender 3 when it's just doing nothing. And guess what? It's not consuming zero power. It's actually using 8 watts now. That doesn't sound much, but if you let this happen with multiple printers like I sometimes do, that sums up to a few bucks every month just to being lazy. So let's not be lazy, let's do something responsible and get this working. Okay, let's have a look in Octoprint how we can automate this. In Octoprint, click on the settings button so the settings dialog will open. Then select the plugin manager. Here click the get more button to install a new plugin. Then in the search field enter Tesmoda. I am installing this first one that is named Octoprint Tesmoda. After the installation is done, we have to restart the Octoprint server so I am confirming this here. Yes, I'm sure, hit proceed. Now it's gonna take a few seconds and we can reload the page now. We will now configure how and when the printer shall be turned on and off. Let's head over to the configuration page again. Somewhere near the end of the settings list there should be a Tesmoda section. Let's click that. Here we have a few settings that we first should enable before adding a plug or switch to the list. Error event monitoring means once the printer runs into an error, I want it to be shut off. That means you will probably not see anymore what was happening on the printer display, but you can look into Octoprint's logs to see any errors that were reported by the printer. Enabling polling of starters I will also switch on. And finally power off on idle. That will automatically shut down the printer after a print has finished and if it is idle for a certain amount of time. Actually I think 30 minutes is way too much, let's set this to 5 minutes just for the testing purpose. Then we need to add our Tismoda switch to this list by clicking the plus button here at the right. For adding the switch you need the IP address or network name of that switch. So in my case I'm using Ender3 Power because that is the address of the Sonoff S20 I installed in the last video. If you happen to know the IP address you can also use that. If we had a switch that had multiple relays this would be more relevant so the index is only one. And you can set a label that is going to be how the switch appears in the list of switches. So let's also enter something meaningful here. I didn't set a username or password in Tesmoda, so leaving this as it is. Now let's check that this is working by hitting the verify button. It should say Tesmoda device responded and is configured properly. If there's another question being asked about enabling a required option, please confirm that and then try again to verify. Okay, now let's finalize the settings here. We want to do an auto connect after the printer has been turned on, otherwise Octoprint cannot talk to the printer. And there needs to be a bit of delay between switching on the printer and connecting, so I'm leaving this on 10 seconds. Auto disconnect can be left on as well. I'm also enabling all warning prompts, especially during printing, so I don't turn off the printer by accident during the printing. Off on idle you also need to check and off on error as well because only if these two switches are set at the individual switch, the settings from the main page will actually have an effect. Now we can close this. But there is one little thing left to do. A thing that you will run into 
most probably is that once you connect your printer to Octoprint while it's being shot off, you will see that your printer's display is going to light up even though the printer is actually disconnected from the mains power. This means that the printer's mainboard is now getting powered over the USB cable from the Raspberry Pi and that's not good because the Raspberry Pi power supply is not meant to be powering 3D printers and we should prevent it from backpowering our printer here. Octoprint even tells you about this fact, mentioning this in the upper status bar as an undervoltage issue. This can lead to instability while running the Raspberry Pi, so we should definitely fix this. There's actually a simple hack to do this. The USB-A plug that goes into the Raspberry Pi has four pins if you look closer. If we look down on the pins, so the metal pins are facing up, the most right pin is the plus pin. That is powering the printer from the Raspberry Pi with five volts. So if we just take a little piece of tape and put it just over this pin, we can actually still use the USB cable as a data cable without being a power cable anymore. And you see, no back powering anymore. Let's now test if our Tasmoda plugin works as expected. First thing you will notice is this new lightning button in the upper status bar. Currently that is red, meaning the plug is switched off. I also have the Tasmoda webpage open to see what's happening and it's currently reporting to be off. Now I will click the lightning button, it will turn green and if we look at the Tasmoda it's turned on, that's good. Now it will take 10 seconds that we have configured to wait until Octoprint tries to connect to the printer. And here it happens, it's connecting and reporting to be operational, that's great. So let's start a very simple print from Octoprint now. The printer is on, there is the file I've uploaded, it's just a test square that takes one minute to print, so let's print this. And we're in the last seconds of the print, so the print is done, let's wait for the shutdown. Woohoo! Awesome! Now I've promised you a bonus feature, here it comes! If you use Cura as your slicer and you have already your Octoprint connection set up, so you can already send prints over to Octoprint from Cura, you're going to love this. If you didn't configure this yet, I've linked a video up here for you where I quickly explain how to connect Cura to Octoprint so you can do this first and then come back to this video. So in Cura, go to Manage Printers and then make sure you have activated the printer which is connected to Octoprint and has the Desmoda plugin configured. Then click Connect Octoprint. And here you will see a new checkbox showing up. Automatically turn on printer with. Make sure that the name of the switch is correctly selected and click Close. If you now start a print from Octoprint using the Print with Octoprint feature, the printer will automatically turn on and you will get this message in Octoprint waiting for Octoprint to connect to the printer. As soon as the printer is ready, Octoprint will start the print. If you happen to run into an error and this is not working at the first try, and this happened to me actually when I first configured this feature, just close Cura and start it again, reboot Octoprint and then it should be working fine. So guys, let me know in the comment section what you think about this video and check out the videos I've linked in these cards here and here. Thanks for watching, see you next time.